Hey, everybody. Okay. <laughs> welcome to it. That was a perfect execution. Yeah, um, welcome to another episode of Trenny and C. I'm Trenny. This is C. We have kind of a head to head today of some classics. But but also not classics because neither of these two companies are known for their rise. Exactly. Specifically. So we've got the Jack Daniels rye here yes. and the Jim Beam rye. Yes. Both classics in their own right as their regular uh, releases. But that's what's kind of cool about both of these mm. uh, bottles is that Jim Beam, especially lately, has been releasing tons of different versions of itself, essentially. Like the Bonded and the Double Oaked and the... Um, Double barreled or whatever, yeah. you know, the six year old and all these. Things. Yeah, the the black, the yeah. black, right, right, right. Anyway, yeah, and now the cut. rye. Yeah. And then Jack Daniels kind of does a similar thing, except they release the Master Distillers versions, which and they we're yet to really determine if they're any different. Yeah, and they have <laughs> so many other like special editions, but they're all pretty much exactly the same. Yeah. Now this one, on the other hand. 70% rye grain, and it has Jack Daniel's, like, charcoal mellowing method, of right? Of course, the signature thing that makes them unique. Where this is rye in pre-prohibition style whiskey aged in new charred white oak barrels to 90 proof. What's so this is on that? also the same. These are both 45%, which okay. is um, a step up from the usual. Even, so Jack Daniel's usually comes at 40%. Regular Jim Beam White usually comes at 40%. Yeah. And uh, so this is a little kick up on each one, so that's kind of cool. One thing I'm going to say that's kind of cool about both of these mm -hmm. is that they make a good cocktail. Ah, Because yes. a lot of the time, especially like in old fashions, yes. the classic way back in the day was to use rye. Yes, yeah, so and uh, so we personally like bourbon flavors in our old fashions a bit more. So this kind of hits both marks. Absolutely. Okay, well, let's get right to it. Okay, I'm gonna pour, pour... pour the Jack on the outside, and I'll do the Jim sure. on the inside. And one of the reasons we're not doing this blind today is because the the flavors are, are so distinctly their own, their own, and yeah. unique to themselves that it's. It's kind of like, well, you taste it, you know which one is which, so it's not a matter of which one you like better necessarily, yeah. it's just kind of, it is what it is, as they say, as all the cool kids are saying. It is. Um, and for visual representation, I've put the bottles in front of the glasses that they belong to. Yes, yeah, so that would be over here. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't think too much about it. <laughs> well, where do you want to start in this comparison? We are going to determine which one's better, aren't we? Yes, I think so. Okay. And sometimes they're, they're, we have been known to have split decisions. Ah, yes, that could happen. So let's just go with uh, Jack, Dan Jack Daniels on the outside first. On the nose. So Jack Daniels, we always say the regular um, number seven, or really the, their, their regular formula they kind of use for everything, is bananas and glue. Yeah, and this has a this it does have that characteristic. It almost has a little bit more of a cherry kind of a thing to yeah, it. Yeah, not so much banana. No, it's, it's the, a little bit more actually like traditional bourbon, like yeah, Buffalo Trace like, style yeah. bourbon. Um, but there is a spiciness this there. This one's a little for Jack Daniels. It's got a little bit of a nuttiness to it. Yeah, that's true. Which Jim Beam is, is known very, for. Yeah, really known for. Actually, this one almost could have been done blind. Yeah, this now that is, I'm smelling it, it's like it's not a, a typical Jack Daniels yeah, smell. Yeah, it's not Jack Daniels through and through, which... Which actually kind of makes me like it. Because yeah, it's a little more interesting that yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. Okay, should we do nose? The nose, Let's, there is a, a nice cherry kind of smell to it. Like, there's yeah. something fruity about it that's not that banana kind of smell. And it has kind of a dark fruits kind of thing going on with it. And a little bit of the spice from the rye. Mm -hmm. The the 45% acts really well with this because, again, uh, both of these as their regular releases are 40% alcohol. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's smell the gym. Okay. Do a uh, nose, palette, nose palette reset. Uh, maybe the dirty shirt? There you go. That'll oh, really reset you. Okay. That'll send there you to a... Your mm. nose buds will be mm -hmm. humming. So... This is much mellower. Yeah, and the it's Jim actually, Beam. the Jim Beam is actually a little bit more kind of classic Jim Beam with it the nuttiness. It does smell a lot more know? Jim Beamy, But... A little bit musty, 
a little bit spicy, not as much as the Everything Jack. about it is much more mild. A little mm-hmm. brown sugar on there. Yeah, for sure. Even the alcohol punch is much softer. There might be, um, it might be harder to determine this one against just the regular Jim. You know what I mean? Like, it's not so wildly different than regular Jim Beam. Mm-hmm. Yeah, to pick it out of a lineup of, of the Jim Beams yeah. would have been hard to do. Because it doesn't have, they don't really have, like, big, bold, rye flavors. Yeah. Them. Like, as, like, in the way that Canadian rye yeah. is so distinct with its kind of, like, tang. Yeah. Right? Like, there's usually yeah. a tang. Whereas, the Jim Beam tastes, or smells like Jim Beam. And the Jack Daniels, I'm going to go back to that. Mm, now, so, like, yeah, it's starting to be a little more prominent. And a little bit more Jack Daniels-y yeah. against the Jim Beam. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't, you know? It's, cause oh, on, we spoiled everything. Yeah, but on first nosing, without having any reference point, it didn't smell right. as Jack Daniels-y. This now, one, it is much more sour smelling than a like, regular J- a Jack Daniels. Yeah. And it doesn't have the banana, though. It has the essence of Jack. But without that banana smell. Essence of Jack. Essence of Jim. <laughs> <laughs> okay, going back to the Jim Beam on the nose. I spilled it all over my face. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> so okay, very well, professional tasting. You know I think we're going to... I'm ready to taste these guys. I kind of just It's did. like you're trying. Your body's... <laughs> yeah, but your body's give it to me. To try and do it, but... Oh, yeah, right, whatever. So what are we starting with? Let's start with the gym, because we started okay. with uh, nosing the sure. jack. Okay, Jim Beam. Mm. Nice and sweet, quite drying, like a nice dry rye start to this one. Uh, it is that Jim Beam nuttiness, though. Right? Through and through. It's tastes like a Jim Beam product mm-hmm. with a little bit more... Cherry, like yeah. tiny little bit of a of a different. But I'm also finding it like drier on, mm. up front. It's a little drier up front, and that could be that it's that a regular little, gym. Yeah, yeah, because a little higher on the alcohol percentage potentially. Oh yeah, but yeah, a li- little spicy, but not too too much. It's not going to turn people away from no, rye no. if you're a bourbon drinker, you know. But it's not. Here's the thing, it's not really distinctly different enough to make you want to go out and buy it. Yeah, and what are the price points of these? I don't know if we've talked about that. Uh, I think they're both just slightly more pricey than the, the right. regular version. So if so. you're not getting like something a little bit more unique yeah. on the Jim Beam uh, for paying a little bit more, mm-hmm. then maybe it's not, in my opinion, worth a repeat. Like It's always good to go out and try these things and expand your palate and... And your point of references, but... Not that there's anything bad about it either. No, it's good. Yeah, it's I mean, good. I like, like Jim Beam in general. Yeah. It's tasty, but it's uh, very just... Jim. Jim. Yeah. Okay. Um, Moving on yeah. to the Jack. I am actually going to have a little bit of water. I forgot to bring myself any water, so I'm just going to suck it up. It'll be, uh, I'll, I'll have the straight up version and you'll have the cleansed version. <laughs> there we go. We don't have our salt or, like, we yeah, don't have our shit together. Whatever. Okay. Jack <laughs> the nose is getting a little bit more Jackie. Jackie boy. Mm. The flavor is, in my mind, different than regular Jack. It's almost more like, um... It's got a more uh, creamier, mm-hmm. a creamier center. <laughs> yes, yes, so that's exactly. Cream filled center. Hmm. Honestly, I, I quite like that. Like, I mean, most Jack Daniels I do quite like, and there's a lot of people out there that are naysayers and think Jack mm-hmm. Daniels is the bottom of the bottom. Yeah. But we've tasted worse whiskey than Jack Daniels. Oh, of course. Yeah. Um, and this offers something to me. A little bit different. You can tell it's Jack Daniels still on the flavor, but it's... It's just got the banana stripped out. Yeah. Like, but the, everything else about Jack is right there. And you mentioned a cherryness on the nose. Mm-hmm. It's not so prevalent on the flavor. No. 
It tastes a little more similar to just Jack Daniels on the flavor. Yeah, it's very much more just regular old number 70 with a little bit more alcohol kick to it. Um, yeah, and it's not as, I find, as drying on the palate as this one, as the gym. Hmm. Now, again, same scenario. Is it different enough from regular Jack Daniels that you want to seek it out? I mean, if it's around the same price, it might be en enough to be kind of something different. But uh, I don't think it's, you know, enough that makes you... I'm going to say no, it's not enough to make you really search, really for, it. Search, search for it. I'd probably just pick up the regular bottle. Okay. Stuff. So we've said almost the same comments about both of these. Yeah. They've kind of landed in a very similar situation. Okay. Now, I, you have to, mm -hmm. you must, yes. pick a winner between these two. What is the best rye on the table tonight? I have my answer. Do you have your answer? No. No? I gotta take another sip okay. of each. You're ready though? I'm ready because ready I have a logic behind it. Oh. <laughs> God, now I'm gonna have to explain myself. I'm just gonna think about which one do I wanna drink? Okay. Which glass do I want? Okay, you can only finish one glass. Which one's it gonna be? Mm -hmm. I better try that. Mm. Okay. Are we gonna, I'm ready. Are we gonna release it on three? Yeah. Okay. Which rye is the best rye on the table right now? Three, two, one. Jack Daniels. <laughs> Sweet we decision. learned nothing. Okay, I have logic behind mine. Okay. The reason is is because. We both determine on the flavor that they're not different enough from the regular products to be um, something that you might put down a little bit right. of extra money for or search out for. Right. However, on the nose, mm. distinctly different to me is the Jack Daniels because mm -hmm. it has a little bit, like you said, stripped out of the, the bananas, stripped out of even a little bit of that glue, and it has kind of like a the cherry note there. Right. Which actually kind of makes it behave more like a regular bourbon. <laughs> so maybe my logic isn't sound, but... Do you want to hear my logic? Yeah, sure. The Jim Beam tastes better. <laughs> <laughs> that works. That works. Well... Let me try. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> well, we have a split decision. You know what? Honestly, you can't really go wrong with either of them. No. Like, they're a one-time purchase each. They're a bit of a novelty item, let's yeah. call it. Um, neither of them... There are better ryes out there. Better there are rise. better American ryes out there. Um, at this price point, um, you know, there... Yeah, there still are. <laughs> yeah. So. But, and, and, I mean, for collectors out there that want to try to get yeah. every Jack Daniels or every Jim or whatever... Um, that's fine, but overall to agree to your point with it just being a little bit better is the fact that Jim Beam makes such a huge range of mm. different whiskeys, mm -hmm. not even in it, its name, you know, its core name range, Yeah, like with Knob Creek. Or the small batch. Yeah, yeah small Booker's, batch, and Booker's, and Bakers, Bakers, Bakers and Basil all Hayden. Yeah, so like just that in general, yeah. like mad respect. Yeah, they, they are a lot more dynamic and they have a lot more um, going on there. Mm -hmm. Whereas, yeah, Jack Daniels is like, they eh, we've got one going. recipe. Sometimes we just put less water in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we've said enough. So, But we've also determined that these are both 55% water. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. We have determined that. Yeah. Thank okay. goodness. Okay. okay. Well, Thanks for joining us. Tea. I'm interrupting. Go ahead. I was interrupting you. Yeah. Go ahead. Click like, leave a comment, subscribe, click the notification bell, and check out our Patreon. Ow! All right. Trenny and C, out. <laughs> Trenny and C, drinking whiskey, describing all the flavors for you and me. Irish scotch, bourbon and rye. If they like a bottle, they'll tell you why. Subscribe on YouTube.